Hello guys, welcome to Manager 14, my Malawi challenge. The series where I attempt to try and make Malawi a dominant... <laughs> it's going to be a long shot. I want to make them a dominant force internationally. I want them to be a really strong team. I think maybe in the short term, a realistic aim may be to make them one of the best teams in Africa. <laughs> Even that's pushing it. But it's going to be a good challenge. It's going to be a long term challenge. If you haven't seen this series before, I recommend strongly you go back and watch the first episode where I explain it all in detail. But this is how it's gone on so far, if you know what's going on. Um, I'll start off with uh, Inter Milan, the fixtures. Last time you joined me, uh, we played Ace Milan and we drew 0 0. We then beat Torino 4 1. Had a decent run in the uh, Italian Cup, knocking out Lazio. We're then getting knocked out by Cagliari, Cagliari in the uh, quarterfinal. Uh, but our Serie A, we had a decent run of form. Losing to Bologna, but then carrying on our winning streak. Then losing to Sampdoria. We've been losing into a couple of lesser teams, I'd say. Teams we should be beating. But we're beating the teams that we should be struggling against. So it's been a good season. We beat Roma, which was a good game, 2-0. Cagliari again, we couldn't beat them in the league as we got knocked out by them in the Italian Cup. They seem to be my jinx team in this save so far. Went against Sassuolo, good game, 2-0. Drew against Juventus, but then having a poor run against Atlanta and Udinese. Not bad though, not bad I'll say, as we're sitting pretty in a third place in the league. Um, Napoli are running away with it at the moment, but it's close between us, Juventus and Atalanta. Yeah, I'm happy with third place considering uh, Inter Milan recently have been really struggling and we're predicted fourth. So, top three is really what I'm aiming for. I want to get into that Champions League again. Um, who's been playing well in the league so far? I would say best player. Let's have a look. Average rating. The best player so far has been Rolando, apparently. Three assists, one goal from centre-back. He's been alright considering signing him permanently, but his age sort of putting me off. He's a he's reliable centre back, but he's nothing special. Cambiasso has been great this season. So has been so has been Juan Jesus. I'm considering signing on Cambiasso again, but his wages have really put me off, and his age is he's going to start declining rapidly soon. But he is an Inter Milan legend. I don't know about that one. I'm hoping that towards the end of the year, his wage demands are just going to shoot down. Um, Juan Jesus as well has been outstanding. He's one of the best young centre backs. In the world right now, really is 22 years of age to be an Inter Milan regular top player, top top player. Um, as for Malawi duties, not too much has happened. We beat Peru, which was huge, a huge game because Peru are ranked 15th and we're ranked 106th or something like that. To beat Peru, um, although on our turf, is a very nice result. Um, yeah, very, very, very good result. Malawians, let's talk about Malawians. First of all, in January, I didn't do too much again. I don't know why, but I'm happy with the team at the moment. Uh, and there's not too much better players I can bring in. Um, but I signed this guy, another Malawian, Nyondo. Um, what can I say about this lad? Dumb. That's what I'll say. Idiot. He's an idiot. Technically, he is great. He's strong. Um, he's powerful. He's good in the air. He's quick. He's he can finish. He's got great first touch. But look at those mental attributes. Look at it on on this little thing on the side as well. Looks, oh, then he's not good enough. He's not good enough. His anticipation's too low. His bravery's too low. His decisions are too low. His determination isn't high enough. His positioning is average. You know, they're really attributes that you really need to be pushing up. The composure's all right, but hopefully they'll push up with age. Twenty-three years of age. He's banging in goals from Malaria. I made a dumb move though. I loaned him to Sassuolo. But he can't play for Sassuolo. I don't know why they wanted to loan him if they couldn't play him. So he's on loan at Sassuolo. I can't recall him, but he can't play because he played for us and he played for some team in Malawi. So, yeah, hopefully that won't stunt his growth too much. But I'm looking forward to getting him back. We've also got Mzava, the other Malawian that I bought in summer, who's developing pretty nicely, actually. I'm thinking about letting him, on, letting him go out on loan next season. I don't know. I don't know if it's better to... I don't... I've got to try and work out the balance between playing time and our training facilities as opposed to the training facilities that the feeder club will have that we send him out on loan to. 
but I think I've just got to keep an eye on development. I might keep them both. I don't know. It's a decision I'll have to make. It depends. If a big club comes in and says we'll play him regularly, then yes. Um, but I'm not going to lend him out to a small club if they don't have decent training facilities because he can just sit here playing 10 games a season and still develop better than he would 38 games a, a season at a low team. Uh, but he's doing well. 12 games, 4 assists. He's getting his assists from centre-back. Uh, probably one of the best assists, assisters in that position I've got. Completely, almost definitely. Um, so it's nice to see them two Malarians developing. But the most important thing that's come through is the youth candidates. And we have had three Malarians, which is great news. It's nice to get three Malarians in. Um, I'll show you the assistance rating. I'll show you the Malarians first. We've got this guy, Mab Mabidi, who looks all right. Um... Not really got any particular style to him. He's just average, really. Um, but I want to play him. I'm going to have to. Hopefully, he'll be in a Malawi international. Um, hopefully, I'll try and make him sort of a bit like Fellaini or someone like that. I don't know. Um, I, I really don't know much about this lad. He doesn't look too exciting. He hasn't got any attributes in the... Um, he doesn't look like a, a sort of player. He doesn't look like a playmaker. He doesn't look like a, a defensive midfielder. He doesn't look like a box-to-box -box midfielder. I don't know what he is. He's just... It's got attributes all over the place, uh, and they're all pretty consistently average. Um, so many nines and eights there, and tens and elevens. Um, worth keeping an eye on, though. We also got this guy, the best, one of the best players coming through our youth system, Chimera. But this poses a problem. Do I play him? Goalkeeper is a position you can't play regularly. You can get away with playing a rubbish centre-back or a rubbish outfield player, but goalkeeper, you can't really get away with playing a rubbish goalkeeper. So he's not going to get as much game time because I'm going to be less intrigued, less willing to play him in goal regularly because you can't get you can't get away with playing an average goalkeeper or even a weak goalkeeper, which he is. But he's got good leadership and determination. Hopefully he'll grow up, um, shoot up. He's got four and a half star reports, so hopefully he'll be a world-class player which is just what Malawi need um, I was lucky to get three players really. I was expecting to get none we also got this guy as well who's probably the worst, one of the worst players I've ever got on any game um, Kaf Waf Kaf Wafwa <laughs> I don't even think he'll make it I, I, I've, 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 got to, I've got to take him on um, see what happens with him even if he just has a career that will do because he goes to another club and it just increases the reputation of Malawi. But I, he's got no chance of making it as an international. But yeah, not too bad. Those three Malawians coming in, good news. But that's it, that's it. No other Malawians coming in from other clubs, which is a shame. Um, another player I've got is Seki, another Italian. He looks alright, he looks like a box to box midfielder. Um, Castagoni, he'll be alright as a striker. You know, Inter Milan have got a good youth system, so you're going to expect a few decent players. Um, and I'm lucky to get three Malarians, because normally you'll get zero, um, apparently. You get between zero and three. Three was very rare, so don't expect me to get three every season. I'll probably get zero next season. It's very hard to get um, three Malarians. You normally get only one or zero, or sometimes, if you're lucky, two. Three is a really, really good pull. Um, but it's really two, isn't it? Except one of those Malarians is just goddamn awful. But, you know, hopefully we'll push on in the league, take it to the end of the season, give some of these Malarians a bit more game time, get them growing. And I think I think we've got the core of a team here. I think we've got a core of a, dare I say it, a World Cup winning team. Is that Malawian, what's his name, that goalkeeper, is he the first... Is he the first player to come through my rank youth region system to become a World Cup winner for Malawi in 10 years' time? In 20 years' time? I don't know, guys. you got to tune in. I'm going to try and get through this series much more quicker. Um, let me know what you think. Any tips? I need some tips. Let me know what I should do with these Malawian players. Should I let them go on loan or should I keep them at the club with their higher training what do you find works better for you? Keeping a young player at your club, developing how you want, keeping him at, in your facilities, or sending him out on loan and giving him game time? What do you think works better? I'm not too sure. I might have to have a play about of it. Let one go, let one say, see what works better. But yeah, five Malarians at the moment. Let's kick on. Let's get them developing. I'll see you later, guys. Tune in next time. Bye-bye.